Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to take you through a really, really basic biomechanical test which can be really useful in diagnosing some of those OP mechanics. Now, first of all, when you perform these tests, don't do them multiple times so you get better at them. What we want is a true reflection of how your movement patterns actually are. So give the test a go the first time. If you can't quite do it, do it quickly again, like in that second again, and that's the true reflection of your movement patterns. If you do things over and over again, you're just going to get good at them through practice, but it's not going to actually reflect how you move when you walk and run and do natural actions through there. And also keep in mind, these tests, yes, they're a part of how you would make a diagnosis. They are a part of how you would you would start thinking about your body, but they're not the whole picture. You're taking your symptom profile, you're taking your history, you're taking a bunch of other things. This is just a piece of it. So don't try to diagnose yourself of having OP definitely from, from this. Um, there's a whole broad of other things that need to go alongside aside this as well. Now, also be intelligent. Obviously, if you're doing something and it's causing pain, don't keep doing it sort of things. The idea of a test is to try to see a, to determine your function. If you're immediately getting pain trying to do one of those things, we don't really need to do the test. We know your function is poor, so don't overdo it. Now, once you've completed the test, then you can watch the accompanying video that comes with this about how to interpret those results. You start to get a better understanding of how your, state, your pelvis is stabilizing and functioning through very basic actions and movements. So, Darcy, I just need you to lift up one of your legs slowly off the ground. Good, and then just hold it there for five seconds. Cool. <laughs> and then just pick the other leg up off the ground. Good, and then just hold it there for five seconds. Good, and then pop it down. Now you can do this a few times, but what's really important is that you swap legs so that we can see that weight transfer from side to side, that you lift it slowly and that you hold it for a second so you can start to see what's going on with your body with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you now turn around and face the camera? Mm -hmm. Cool, now again, you need to be head to toe. Um, so you can see everything that's going on. But we're going to focus on the feet here. Um, you want your feet to be about hip distance part, which is what she's in right now. Can you lift up onto your toes and then hold that position for 10 seconds? Good. Now, I don't have a timer with me, so I'm just going to stop at what I think is around 10 seconds. Cool. And then take a break. Excellent. Okay. Um, just lift up one hand off the ground and hold, hold the position. Good. Excellent. And then pop that back down and then lift the other hand off the ground. Good. And pop that back down. And yeah, and then you can stand back up. And so when you're doing, okay, so in the next test, I'm going to jump back in. Um, you're just going to do a body squat. So if you want to just turn side on. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then you're going to go down and do a squat, not too deep a squat. And what we're going to be looking to see is just that these knees don't go past the toes. Yeah, just to there, and then come back up. Good, now again, we need to see the feet in the shot. Um, don't be afraid to let your chest come down a little bit, and yeah, just go one more time on that, and just nice and slow, not fast. Yeah, good, yeah, just to there, and then come back up. Beautiful, okay, um, and now on the second last test, if you can turn and face the camera. Cool, okay, now I need you to close your eyes, and then I need you to slowly lift up one of your legs, and keep that foot off the ground. Now this one is particularly important. Do not redo this test a bunch of times. Yep, yeah, good. Lift the knee up a little bit higher. Good, and just hold that for 10 seconds. Good, and then pop that foot down and go there. All right, now on the final test, uh, just turn side on for me. You're gonna use a small weight. So this is about two and a half kilos. It's kind of really hard though to be able to tell you exactly what weight you should use. Two and a half kilos might be too heavy for you. You might wanna go lighter, you might wanna go a little bit heavier. You'll kind of understand when you give it the test and it's not a perfect test, but it does give us some useful information. So you're just gonna sink it to a small little squat, just a miniature one. Yep, just so that your knees are a bit bent. You can be a tiny bit taller than that. Yep, perfect, okay. Just so that your knees are soft and you've got your, your chest coming down a tiny bit. Then you're going to bend your elbows up, good. And then you're just going to slowly extend the weight out. Now, ideally you'd go to full elbow extension, but if that doesn't hurt or it hurts your shoulders, just stop where you feel comfortable. And then just, yeah, hold that position. You wanna bring your shoulder blades down just so that you don't put any strain on the front of your shoulders. And you just wanna hold that there. And we're just gonna hold that for about 20 seconds. And the idea here is that we wanna see if you're gonna overload something that I call your seatbelt, which is 
this line through here, are you starting to feel uncomfortable feelings through there? Now, if you start to feel discomfort and pressure through there, pressure at your pubic bone, pressure in your ductus, pressure in anywhere that we don't want that is just not good for you, just stop. Stop doing the movement. It's kind of proved our point at that point there. But if you can go the whole way through and you can feel it in your core through here, then that's really, really good sort of things. Um, but yeah, just look out for any sort of tension, discomfort, any OP symptoms coming along there around your adductors, around your pubic bone. Cool. Essentially, that is the biomechanical test. So you want to just record yourself doing those things, getting those angles. And when you do that, we can, you can then have a look and use the next video and use that to interpret those results from there.